We are a people of tradition. Satine cries Mandalorians were some of the most feared warriors in the galaxy. As prideful warriors, they held combat as the cornerstone to their culture, their individual identity, and spirit. Mandalorians shared a strong code of honor that could be invoked to settle disputes with one-on-one -on -one combat that would conclude with the death of one opponent. This affinity and tradition for single combat extended beyond justice, however, as Mandalorians even sought single combat simply for the glory of fighting a great opponent, such as a Jedi Knight, and even used it to settle leadership disputes. However, some in-house Vishla refused to accept non-Mandalorians like Maul from ever becoming ruler of Mandalore via such traditions. Maul himself had Prime Minister Almec lie to the Mandalorian people by claiming that Satine Kreis had killed Pre Vishla, Maul's predecessor. The Darksaber was appropriated by House Vishla as a symbol of authority and leadership used to unify the Mandalorians. The weapon became revered and was passed down to new leaders who defeated the previous leader in combat, with claiming the weapon in any other way being considered illegitimate. As well as galactic basic standard, Mandalorians spoke Mandoa, whose written form was also known as Mandalorian. Mandalorian clan structure was like a pyramid, with the ruler, or Mandalore, at the top and the Mandalorian protectors enforcing their rule. Below them were the political factions known as Houses, which were made up of family clans. One example was House Vishla, which was comprised of Clan Vishla and Clan Ren. Under the rule of Duchess Satine Kreis and the new Mandalorian government during the Clone Wars, the Mandalorians had mostly rejected their martial ancestral ways but maintained a police force and secret service, who wielded electropoles and shields. Though Mandalorians were usually distinctly human, one did not need to be human to become one. Instead, what one needed to do was follow the Mandalorian creed. Thus, some individuals, non-humans included, could be adopted into the Mandalorian creed as foundlings, children raised to become Mandalorian warriors. The Mandalorians viewed the foundlings as the future, and any Mandalorian with a foundling in their care was duty-bound to reunite it with their kind or to raise them, acting as the child's parent. When a foundling came of age, if he or she had not yet been reunited with its kind, it could decide to leave or join the Mandalorians. Although Mandalorians who had been foundlings were treated no differently than any other Mandalorians, possessing the right to bear their armor and even to form their own clans, discrimination towards foundlings was observed to be present within Mandalorian organizations. Several notable foundlings included Grogu and Din Djarin, both of Clan Mudhorn, as well as the famed Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett. Some Mandalorians, such as the Children of the Watch, followed ancient religions such as the Way of the Mandalore. Mandalorians who followed the way did not consider others as true Mandalorians, while mainstream Mandalorian regarded the children of the Watch as religious zealots.